So I have access to uh, all that uh, world class experience and knowledge. Uh, welcome to the Botanic Gardens on a cold February day. Um, name is Peter Kelleher again. Uh, this is part two of my video into the um, time here in the Botanic Gardens. I'm on work experience now. So before Christmas I did a 30 days work experience in Ardgillen Castle and now I'm doing my uh, work experience here under the supervision of the OPW gardeners here in the National Botanic Gardens. So I have access to uh, all that uh, world class experience and knowledge here, so that's uh, who I'm working under for this um, section here. So this morning I'm uh, uh, going through another skill. It's uh, we're, I'm just planting out some bulbs. The bulbs I'm planting out this morning are fritillaria bulbs, and um, I'm working under the supervision of Cahal, the uh, gardener here in the herbaceous border section of the botanic gardens. So just to go through the skill then is uh, so uh, usually these uh, fritillarias would be planted out closer to October. Um, but we have some good growth and good development on them uh, and we're uh, developing this section underneath the cherry tree here uh, to create a carpet effect uh, of the bulbs. So that's why we're pl planting them out this time of year. The, the bulbs are, are good and strong so they should be in a decent shape to, to be planted. So uh, to mark out the area, so I, I placed the uh, plant exactly where I want the um, bulbs to, be, uh, to grow up from. So I put the plant down and then just mark it around with a, a spade and that uh, shows exactly where I'm going to be putting the, the bulbs. So I'm going to just uh, mark it out, move the pot to the side and then just dig down uh, into, the, into the hole. So I'm making sure that I dig at least as deep as the pot and then loosening up the soil at the bottom to give the bulbs some uh, space and some loose soil to um, expand and, and grow and to give them a, a bit of a start as they're getting into the ground. So getting the pot then, uh, the tendency of the pot uh, is to, uh, the compost in the pot, uh, it'll become quite loose as I put it in because the, there's good root development in the pot but it doesn't bind the soil all that uh, strongly. So I'm gonna put it into the pot here, and uh, once it's, or sorry, into the hole there, and once it's in the hole then, it'll break apart, and then I can place the, the actual bulbs themselves. So I'll just do that now. So you can see there, there's very strong, good root development here on the bulbs and one very large bulb there in the centre. Now, it's important to keep the bulbs upright. And then, start planting in around. And then once all the bulbs are in, placed around in that shape, then, and then I start filling in the soil and I'll just loosen this soil around to make sure that the bulbs don't get, the soil isn't too compacted around the bulbs. And then just tidy off the area around it, make sure, making sure that all the stems are well covered. Doesn't need to be much showing above the ground, they will develop quite strongly thereafter. And that's planting of bulbs. Mm -hmm. 